Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you guys know, Comptuous just released a new update about Seek and Arena. So I think it's gonna be really good if they're trying to do something to make the game more like competitive. Uh, about Seek, I think it's a good sign, but about Arena, I think it's not because uh, lower the 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 point to get up to your rank, it just put more people in the rank that they are not deserved. So I don't know about Arena, but uh, about Seek is pretty good. And in this video today, I'm gonna make a prediction about what unit gonna get buff and what unit gonna get nerfed in the next balance patch because come to us really like to put a new balance patch in the middle of the season and this is the time now i think the next balance patch gonna come out in like the next four or five days so look at the rank over here i'm ranked 195 and i'm planning to get g3 this season so now you guys know that my idea come from a legit sword it's not come from like a nobody okay now let's begin so the first unit i want them to nerf is miho even though i'm a miho abuser and i use miho to 1v4 a lot of rt matches again like top 100 or top even top 10 player but I think the kit of Miho is kind of overwhelming with a 3 star monster. The reason being is she have everything. She got um, skill 1 with stun, skill 2 multiple hit so you can easily go through Chiana passive or Vanessa passive. And um, this passive over here make her really really hard to kill because she cannot die with a crit. So if you guys played this game for more than 3 years, you will remember when they buffed Laika, like his passive gonna give him the chance to prevent and stun 50% chance. And basically Miho is like a mimic of Laika and Garo at the same time now. So what did they do over there so they nerf the chance to stun of Laika so I think the best nerf for Miho is to make the skill 1 when she revenge not on her turn she cannot stun the opponent and I think Miho gonna be less C in RT after that like Laika before so the next unit on my nerf list is Barbara Barbara is really overwhelmed with her kit with skill 1 she can slow, skill 2 she can strip and skill 3 she can ignore defend and give other ally attack bar up to 50%. This is really scary skill because people just put her on squib and basically you have no way to outspeed her with this base speed. The reason why you guys don't see Lauren that often anymore is because Lauren is get replaced by all the Beast Rider and especially Barbara. So I predict that they will nerf the skill so the attack bar of all other allies will increase up to 30% so 20 more percent less to make Barbara less OP because Barbara have everything slow, strip, ignore defend and uh, attack by increase and she have 2 life and she hit really hard as well so the next unit I think come to us gonna nerf is Savannah because if you look closely with the skill 3 it's kinda look like an attack version of Hathor so what did they do to nerf Hathor? They make her skill 3. If you like select one select one um, unit, it will decrease that unit by 100% um, of the attack bar and all the unit like 50%. So I think they're gonna do something similar with the skill. So let's say they're gonna still do the weakened enemy defend for 2 turn. If the defend of enemy lower than your attack power, and set the enemy attack bar, the selected enemy attack bar to 0 and the other enemy to 50%. So I think that gonna happen with Savannah. 
Moreover, I think the passive of the beast rider should get nerfed. If they are killed by a monster like Raki with skill 3, and when they revive, they cannot have the beast anymore. So the unit I can think of is Mara, this 3 star monster, Jara with her passive, or Avaris with his passive as well. So the next unit in my nerf list over here is Vert. The reason why is when you put a revenge set on him, if he revenge, you automatically get 40% attack bar of all other ally and it's freaking huge in RTA. So I think the best nerf for him over here is when he revenge, he just get 10% of the attack bar for all allies per hit, which means just like a half of 20%. So by 2 hit, he can get 20%. So it's keep his passive relevant and it's kind of nerf him a little bit. So this unit over here is kind of similar to Paladin, the Light Paladin. Because if you guys play the game long enough, you will know that there is a time that the Light Paladin um, team when she revenge, she gonna heal with her passive. If she revenge, she gonna heal 10% of the ally with low uh, HP with um, with the skill one. And it's all, already similar to um, Perna because before Perna can heal herself as well, not like just healing other ally every turn. So they nerf Jean and they nerf Perna. So Perna cannot heal herself and Jean, once she revenge, she cannot heal other ally or herself. Uh, there's still one more. So there's still one more, is this Aris. So this Greed Repent passive over here used to heal herself or the ally with low HP by 15%, no skill up. Like even on revenge but they nerf her so i i'm no wonder if they nerf bird the same way by cutting the attack by increase by a half when he revenge so the next unit i want to talk about is iliana why because skill 2 just have two turn cooldown if you max skill her and she can like buff herself and get into skill 3 which give her invincibility or all the ally invincibility, immunity, and shield as well. So I would say they're gonna nerf her skill 3 by increase the cooldown by one turn. So make her exactly in the Yonhan spot, like right now. Last unit I want to talk about in my nerf list. You guys must be really surprised, but I think this is a fair nerf. Because skill 2 and skill 3 of Shiho is freaking OP. When he got a turn after he got invincibility and he Ryan Brock, he automatically um, get skill 3 again. So I would say they should nerf him skill 3 by increase one more turn in cooldown. Because there is many teams that Shiho can solo especially in the twin era when me and my buddy Alvin still play twins one Shiho can kill all of four twins just one and that is really really something so this skill tree should deserve a nerf by increase the cool time by once so finish with the nerf list let's move to the buff list and Garnier is one of the unit that I think come to us should buff him in this balance patch and um, with the passive I think it's really good to make him something similar like Hellfest but with Hellfest it's just on himself I think better than that Garnier should be able to do with other ally as well what I mean is Whenever his ally or himself get attacked, he gonna use one, uh, one knowledge, to take ten percent of his make HP from the attacker and give it to the lowest 
HB ally or himself. So it would be super super good if Gaoni can do that and if he got this buff. So um, yeah, it's pretty OP, but that's what uh, an LD unit should get, right? It shouldn't be in the storage for like more than a year now. Okay, the next one gonna be Trinity. Trinity is well known as a really weak unit. And the only thing and the simplest thing to make it better is to make the type of monster from HP to attack. Then she will be much much better because the HP over here can increase. And that's really simple and I think they should do it. Along with Trinity, there's one more unit that Shanvi have, which is Young, And I think the best way to buff her is to change the leader skill from 28% speed leader to 33%. Or they can keep the same speed leader, but give her a chance to ignore defense. I would say 30% on her skill tree. And she's gonna be like really, really juicy. She's like an upgrade version of Faye. I would say 30% of ignore defense is not that high, but it will make her more usable in this meta right now. So that's it for all my prediction in the next balance patch. Don't forget to drop me a like or subscribe on YouTube and join my discord below and uh, comment in the comment section below what do you guys think should nerf or should buff or what do you guys think about my opinion and as always i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye